Basu's dependable prefers to utilize its main expo of Computex, which additionally happens to be the world's greatest PC equipment occasion to flaunt a wide and sporadically wild lineup of new items. What's more, it's truly beaten itself this time. The feature declaration is a standout amongst the most debauched workstations at any point made. The Sendbook Pro Duo has not won yet to 4K screens. There's a 15-inch 16-9 OLED board where you'd regularly discover the show case on a workstation. At that point, a 32-9 IPS screen pad plus screen legitimately over the console that is a similar width and a large portion of the tallness. It's as though Asus taken a gander at the MacBook Pro touch bar and thought imagine a scenario in which that, yet with 30 to fold the number of pixels. However, the screen pad plus doesn't remove anything from the Sendbook Pro Duo, with the exception of probably battery life. Basus still incorporated a full-size console with a capacity push, including a brake key. And the trackpad is bound straightforwardly to one side. The structure is reminiscent of Asus Zelfreus Slimline Gaming Lap Tops. You even still get the light up drawing that gives you a chance to utilize the track pad as a numpad. HP took a stab at something comparative as of late as well. However, its second screen was far littler. Asus has assembled some product for the screen pad plus that makes it to a greater degree an optional control board. However, you can likewise utilize it as an all-out screen, or even to on the off chance that you need to part it into two littler 16-9-1080p windows. You can likewise set it to fill in as an augmentation of the primary screen. So sides are sent from over your console as you look down, which is quite startling. Or on the other hand, you could utilize it to watch Lawrence of Arabia while you jam on its cell spread sheets. The Sendbook Pro Duo has up to an 8th center Intel Core i9 processor with the NVIDIA RDX 2060 GPUs.
There are for far field amplifiers intended for use with Alexa and Cortana. And there's an echo style blue light at the base edge that initiates with voice directions. It has a Thunderbolt 3 port, two USB A ports, an earphone jack, and a full size HDMI port. With no hiccups or hitches notwithstanding when running an escalated video altering programming demo, it's a genuinely weighty PC at 2.5 kilograms about 5.5 lbs yet that will be normal given the gaming PC class internals. I would likewise anticipate that its battery life should fall some place near that specific class of items. However, we'll need to keep the watch out about that. While both of the screens looked great, I will say they appeared to be unique. Some portion of that is a direct result of the singing force of the essential OLED board. However, the screen pad plus is likewise covered with a matte completion and normally looks less splendid due to how you normally see it at an off edge. ASUS is additionally making a less expensive and littler 14-inch model called the Sendbook Duo. The structure and idea is fundamentally the equivalent. However, the two screens are full HD as opposed to 4K. There's no Core i9 choice. And the discrete GPU has been vigorously minimized to a MX250. ASUS hasn't reported estimating or accessibility for the Sendbook Pro Duo or the Sendbook Duo. Yet they're required to arrive in the second from last quarter of this current year.